Methodist Church of Caboose, and today's video is not at all, or at least directly, Destiny 2 themed. So I got up this morning, was doing my thing, which my normal morning routine, which includes things like going to the gym. I noticed it was like stupid snowy outside, and it got me to thinking once I got to the gym, I was like, huh! Maybe this would be a great time to do one of those New Year's resolutions videos because so many people quit on everything by January 2nd. Well, not that early, but you know, it's funnier that way. But anyways, so I thought we'd just talk about why and how you could challenge and improve yourself in 2020. So one of the things that often happens is people make all these huge New Year's resolutions. Oftentimes. Oftentimes, it's similar to something like, I'm gonna lose 100 pounds, or I'm gonna be able to deadlift a bus. Stuff like that, but we all forget. Well, not all, but for the most part, it's not commonly like, I'm gonna stop being a jerk, or I'm gonna clean my house more often, that kind of thing. So I wanna tell you guys about how we can like bring all of this wonderful, fun stuff together. So this is supposed to be kind of like a motivational, informational video about working out, and taking care of yourself. Treat yourself. All right. So what are some things like, why should you take care of yourself? Well, you even got mental health. So like, if you don't take care of yourself, you might get really depressed. You might, if you already have various mental health issues, it could exasperate them. I know I have people in my life that intentionally have to say, I'm not gonna spend all day in bed because if I do, that will put me down the rabbit hole and that's not good for me. And so they have to make themselves get out of bed and even if it's just sitting on the couch in the living room. And so like, that's kind of what I mean by taking care of yourself. And unfortunately, most people don't like talking about the fact that working out and physically like doing stuff is possibly the best way to take care of yourself and ties in to everything. Now how does, how does working out, lifting, running, walking, hiking, whatever it is you like to do that's physical, help the rest of your life. But the first thing instills discipline. If you are able to make yourself get up and lift weights, run, do something when it's cold and snowy outside like I did today, or I don't, I don't know, anything that you do not like, you will have the discipline to do the stuff in the rest of your life that you do not like to do either. Um, David Goggins is a great, <laughs> he's a great example of that. He does um, lots of YouTube videos, mostly from people that interview him and put him in their own motivational things. But that dude did SEAL training, all kinds of stuff, and he went through Hell Week, which is like the worst week of Navy SEAL training, three times within a year and a half. And according to the stuff I've seen, he's the only person to have done a Hell Week three times within 18 months. Like that's insane, the dude ran 100 miles and broke, basically died. Like he broke almost all the bones in his feet. He was like, literally was so exhausted he could not take care of himself to defecate and urinate. Like so he did it over himself in a chair, which is not something you would probably assume he would want people to know, but he tells people. And his whole thing is do something you don't want to do every day. And a lot of people, that means working out. So I try to do that and unfortunately that backfires on me. Oftentimes I wake up and I'm like, oh God, it's like 18 degrees out. I don't want to run. I'm like, damn it. Now I have to run. But like that's like, so you guys gotta make yourself do stuff you don't want to do. And usually that's easier, more applicable to working out. And that will carry over. Like if you're, I'm a huge advocate of working out before you do anything else in the day. So waking up early, work out before work. If you don't work and work out before you do whatever your first normal life kind of a thing is early in the morning because if you are able to get your butt, I wanna say your lazy butt, up out of bed and doing whatever, odds are you can make yourself clean your house. You can make yourself take care of your mental health. You can make yourself give yourself a mental health day. You can make yourself take time to read a book or de-stress by doing something. Like, that's my whole theory of how everything pulls together. Now, am I perfect? Oh, heck no, I, I am not perfect. But half the time, I wake up about 5.30 or so in the morning. It might get earlier, depending upon how other things in my personal life play out. I'm like, oh, I do not want to get up, but I get up, because I like have my mental head be like, hey, hey there, lazy bones, your lazy butt. Get yourself out, do what you're supposed to do, and work towards your goals. Which ties into the next thing, you have to set goals that you care about. About goal setting, we got three, three really key like parts, or I guess factors to goal setting, where if you don't have these three parts, 
might, might as well just stop now. Like, first of all, it's got to be measurable. Like, you can't just uh, be like, I'm gonna get stronger. All right, well, that's cool. That could mean basically anything. Or you could be like, if you wanna tie this into video games, like, I'm gonna play this game. All right, well, like, that's kind of cool. Like, the only reason I'm trying to tie video games is my channel is normally like Destiny, Modern Warfare, mostly Destiny themed. So we're gonna do a little bit, a little bit of tying in together. So that your goal has to be measurable. So like, right, I wanna get stronger. All right, cool. Stronger how? For me, I was like, all right, my goal is to do 24 pull-ups. Like without stopping, dead hands. Like why well, arms come all the way locked out. I get 24 of them without stopping, like hopping off and then taking the rest, break, or let my feet touch the floor. Like that was one of my measurable goals. So you have to have something and uh, I would also suggest for uh, part two, gotta be realistic. Like, if, you, if you've never, let's just say I weighed 400 pounds, I'm still my same height of 6'3", and uh, I'm like 400 pounds, like 40% body fat. Do you think it's very realistic for me to be like, in a month I'm gonna be able to run a six minute mile? Probably not. Like that's not a really attainable goal. So why do you wanna push yourself because there's really no point to goals if you don't push yourself. You need to pick something that you can attain. And then once you attain it, bump it up. You attain it, bump it up. Attain it, bump it up. You see what I was like saying? Like you never, you never fully get there. David uh, Goggins talks about a dude that he met that's in the NFL. And this NFL player asked him, hey man, how do, I, how do I stay hungry? How do I push for stuff? And Goggins is like, well, what was your goal when you were a kid? And he says, to be an NFL athlete. And he's like, well, there you go. There's your problem. You hit that goal of being an NFL athlete and then you were out of goals and so you started slacking. So you gotta make be down to push yourself and be like, all right, I hit that 400 pound deadlift. Now let's make it 450, 500. Or like, I ran six miles. Let's make it now that I want my next goal is I wanna run eight. Or like, I run a 5K, my next one's a half marathon. That kind of thing. You guys see what I'm saying? Like you gotta have goals that are measurable and then when you finally hit that measure, you can bump them up. Uh, part of measurable is uh, perfectly okay, and I encourage having sub goals. When I started my pull up journey, I'm still not to 24 yet. Not to 24 yet. When I started off, I was around like 10 or 12, something like that. I was all right, all right, end goal is 24. Like all the way up here, I'm down here. Next goal is 15. Next goal is 18. Next goal is 20. And by you know it, I'll get to 24. Right now, I'm like 20. See, so like, yeah, if you have those subsets, that can help because you don't want to just have some goal that you never attain because you have to grind y'all you have to personal growth and anything whether it's fitness uh cleaning the house not being a jerk being more empathetic integrity whatever it is maybe stuff at work uh takes time like you have to grind and grind and grind just like a video game this is the best tie-in just like destiny like destiny you know almost all the dang times are like play a strike like a hundred times or like you know you go you got farm because you want to get that best loot and so you put in the time and the effort to do this activity over and over until you get that ideal god roll piece of gear that you want it is the exact same exact same with life now some people are more blessed but i guarantee you talent will never outbeat hard work if talent doesn't work hard I don't know. It's a pretty common sports thing I heard growing up. I'm sure most of you guys have heard of that as well. But like that, and then uh, also goals have to be meaningful. Like if you have, I want to lose 100 pounds, but you, like, you got no reason why. It's pretty easy just to give up on it, you know. And it's gotta be something like really like dudes being like, I want to lose 100 pounds so I can get laid more often. Probably a good enough reason. We already talked a lot about the why, so we're just gonna, you have to have a meaningful reason for your goal or else you're not gonna get there because you're not gonna care. It's probably why so many people quit out of the gym on like January 4th, more like February, but you know, because like, it's not meaningful enough. So you have to have measurable goals, realistic goals, and meaningful goals. Otherwise, you're probably gonna fall apart and you gotta be willing to put in the work. If you put in the work and you half-ass it, then you're only gonna get halfway to your goal. If you don't, if you just show up to the gym and your goal is like, I'm gonna get stronger, I'm gonna spend an hour at the gym every day, but 45 minutes of that hour is you talking to the front desk person, you f***ing around on your phone, thinking, excuse me, thinking around on your phone, or if you're like, I don't know, talking with your girl, your gal pal, or your bromance, and like you spend most of the time not actually working out, you're not gonna get anywhere. You can show up for the gym 10 hours a day, and if you're not actually working hard 10 hours a day, you're gonna have zero accomplishment. Same with like anything else in life, with work, like if you're like, I'm gonna get that promotion, so I have to 
put in the time. Well, I guarantee your boss doesn't probably care nearly as much as about how much time you're at the office if you're not actually doing your work. See what I'm saying? So like all these stuff with working out tie to everything. And then we're gonna kind of start to wrap it up here. Finally, you gotta surround yourself with people that won't sugarcoat everything. If you're fat, you need people to tell you, hey man, you're fat, you're gonna die from heart disease. And I understand, I understand some people have different uh, medical conditions or like injuries, uh, anything that can make losing weight or staying in shape harder for them. Like, hey, uh, I found my body loves staying around 220 pounds and wet and the fat level that I'm, I'm, that I'm around. Like, it's just what it loves. And so for me, getting past this point is taking forever. I've been stuck at this proximate, like, weight ability since, like, October. So it's, like, two or three months of being at the same, even though I've been busting my butt off almost every single day, five or six days a week at the gym. So, like, I get that there's there's things, but it doesn't matter. Heck, screw your excuses. Like, are you really going to be able to, like... Like, in, like, look a loved one in the eye as you're on the bed, like that deathbed from a heart attack, and be like, yeah, sorry I died like 20 years early. I just, working out was a little bit more difficult for me. Or eating healthy wasn't something that came naturally. Like, no, that's, that's stupid. That's so stupid. Take care of yourself, people, because you got folks that love you, and it doesn't matter if things fall off my little, little table and make a noise, or if you gotta do stuff, to, like, that are harder because it sucks to take care of yourself. Like, you know what? I'd be dang if I die at like an early age from like something like heart disease and lose out and prevent my wife from having the appropriate number of years that she deserves. Now, if it's from something unnatural, like a car crash or something I can't control, then so be it. But if it's from something that is within my power, like eating healthier and trying to take care of myself, then like I then like I didn't deserve her in the first place if I'm not willing to put so you gotta take care of yourself. Surround yourself with people that will be honest with you. Now sometimes you need folks that'll be like, hey, today was rough. That sucks. And like give you some support. Like if I fail a PFT, because I don't get the high enough score I need quite yet to get be, to be eligible for the Marine Corps officer, the candidate school, then like it's kinda nice to have someone be like, hey, you've been busting your butt off, this sucks but we'll get back at it again tomorrow. But you also need people to be like, hey, you're fat, hey, you're a jerk, hey, that was mean, hey, you're stupid, like fix your, like you need people that'll tell you how it is, you gotta surround yourself with people that'll help you grow and not just stay right where you're at. If you surround your whole life is just full of people, like, well, that's okay, honey, or uh, well, maybe you should do this thing because it's a little easier or more attainable. I'm like, no, screw that. Just do what you want to do as, as pushing yourself and grow and stop being a little bitch about everything. All right, there is the New Year's resolutions video. I hope this kind of helped you guys get some stuff into perspective, tied in a little bit with some Destiny video games. This is the first time I've done a video like this without having it being like gameplay and all kinds of other stuff. So if you like this kind of thing, let me know. Maybe I'll do more. If you do want to try and do a workout, but maybe you're in a financial situation where um, like you can't afford a gym. A 24 hour fitness tends to be pretty cheap. I hate Planet Fitness. I hate Planet Fitness with a burning passion, but they're like 10 bucks a month. So I guess if, you, if you're uh, not someone that's maybe like at ground zero, Planet Fitness might work out for you. There's also tons, tons of resources on YouTube. Tons of resources on YouTube. You can just look up and be like, type into YouTube, be like, workouts to do in my living room and then boosh, like you got tons of options so like you don't have to pay for a gym you could uh check out my instagram small i am lift i must every once in a while i put up the workout that i did and people are more than welcome to use the workout that i did they might have to adjust it based off of their strength maybe you can do more maybe you can do less i don't know but there's tons of free resources out there so money is a factor. You can do stuff at home if you're like, well, I don't have workout clothes. Who cares? You can do stuff in jeans. You can do stuff in like in a regular t-shirt. Now, should you use like a ballroom gown or a tuxedo? Probably not. I would not suggest doing a 15 minute ab workout and those things because they're expensive and you want to keep them nice. But you could use just about any other of your clothes. You don't have to have those fancy leggings or I don't know, I don't think the shirt I'm wearing right now is too fancy, but if you if you think it is, you don't need to have something like what I'm wearing. Just throw on a t-shirt, pair of shorts, and boom, you're good to go. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I am Church of Caboose. Have a great week. Have a great year. I'll see y'all next decade, and happy grinding, y'all.